get out there. It's this dude in his wheelchair and about four or five dudes with him, you know, hanging out. I know they're Crips because my cousins are all Crips in LA. So I'm like, there's some game bangers. What they doing out here? He's like, hey, I want to holler at you for a minute, Hammer. Now the thing is, Mike already knew who Hammer was because they did the video. Mm -hmm. We were on the same game before. So I'm like, what? How am I? So basically he came to Hammer like, hey man, you know, it's LA and everything, man, and things can happen, you know what I'm saying? You to, you to holler at me, man, you know what I'm saying? Holler at me for protection. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. And, that, and, and when y'all hit those t towns, it's something else I wanted to ask you about. There's a story also that you talked about, and, and shout out to Melvin Farmer. Um, and you brought up Michael Conception. <laughs> Michael Conception, uh, was we are the world, what is this? No, we're in the same game. We all in the same game. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And he was a guy that was in a wheelchair. Yeah, he still is. Still is. And mm -hmm. get a lot of respect. You hear people talk about him mm -hmm. a lot of times now. Carson on the Crip. West Coast. Yeah, they talk about him a lot. Let's let me you say there was an incident that happened with MC Hammer and mm -hmm. Michael Conception. Let's talk about that for a minute. We come out the hotel. No, we come out the um we had a function to do it somewhere up in Hollywood. I forget exactly where it was. We come out the back to get in the vans and cars and stuff to go back to the hotel because we was down doing our too legit to quit stuff, right? And we get out there, it's this dude in his wheelchair and about four or five dudes with him, you know, hanging out. I know they're Crips because my cousins are all Crips in LA. So I'm like, there's some gang bangers. What they doing out here? He's like, hey, I want to holler at you for a minute, Hammer. Now the thing is, Mike already knew who Hammer was because they did the video. Mm -hmm. We were on the same gang before. So I'm like, what? How do I? So basically he came to Hammer like, Hey man, you know, it's LA and everything, man, and things can happen, you know what I'm saying? You to, you to holler at me, man, you know what I'm saying? Holler at me for protection. I'm saying, protection for what? You see, man, I got, I got 12 bodyguards out there, and for a five of them, straight killer. You know what I'm saying? So, what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? I don't need no protection. He said, man, it ain't stunning. They said, no, 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 for real though, man, you need to holler at me, man, you know, if you, you, know, if you don't, something could happen to you, whatever. Mm. He said, what you trying to say? He said, you know what I'm saying? You go ahead and, you know, Take care of that and everything will be cool. He said, nigga, you trying to start strangle on me, nigga? He said, man, you got me. Said, I'm, from the, I'm the town. I'm from, I'm from the Bay, baby. We don't play like that. So Lewis and his brother stepped up and they started cursing, going back forward. Like, it's a standoff. So his boys, they, they to show their stuff, they heat or whatever. Right. So our people, they drove down. They're ready. It's, it's going to be a killing. That's and, one of them times. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a killing. That but, was the time this, I was asking you but about. But everybody went out there, though. This this was this was one, that whole crew was just a couple how many, of us. Uh, how many? Because he said 12 bodyguards and y'all. So mm -hmm. Is that all there was out there? With us, yeah, that we, night. That particular night. Okay. The, the rest of the crew was back at the hotel. The, right. The, the dancing and all that. They, back. they didn't want to part of what. We wanted to go do something. Some kind of business hand was handling or whatever. But that's how he rolled. So it, like, it was a stand down maybe. Maybe two minutes of intenseness. You know? And uh, they looking like they were to get down and hammer them. Our people looking like, yeah, I'm waiting for you to move. Hammer them, hey, 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 what's up? He said, hey, man, it's like this. I'll make one phone call and all this will go away. Mm. I'm through with it. Let's go. Load up, everybody. We left. Next morning, my conception in the hotel, in the lobby. Hey, man, he saw me. I was down there doing something, something. Hey man, hey, 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 you was out there with Hammer last night, wasn't you? I played like I didn't know what you're talking about. Hey man, t tell Hammer, man, he talked to him, whatever. Saw somebody, one of our bodyguards, whatever. I guess they called and told Hammer what was up. Hammer wasn't studying him. You know what I'm saying? But when Hammer did come down, he, he was like, hey, Hammer, man, I'm out you for a minute, whatever. Lewis walked past him. This is Michael Concepts? Yeah. Okay. Man, I'm out you for a minute, man. Oh, man, man, hey, bro, I apologize, man. Hey, man, let me talk to you for a minute. And Hammer said, what's up, man? He said, man, I apologize for the thing. I didn't know, you know, the people you knew and whatever, this and that. And, I apologize for what I did, brother. It's all good. We cool. We good. And Hammer's like, yeah, yeah, it's all right. Mm -hmm. But see, what he didn't know was, I don't know if you know Big West. Did you know Big West? Big West died last year, too, a year for last. R.I.P. to Big West. Big West was big time L.A. gangster. Mm. He, he, was, he was the muscle for Crip? Solar. Yeah. Solar Records and all that back in the day. You know what I'm saying? All that. Death Row. West the one introduced Shook. That's how we knew who Shook was. Shook to, came out around. To, huh? to Hammer. Yeah, yeah. Shook, Shook was just nigga fresh out the field, you know, football or whatever. Security. He, security. He wanted to get in the game of, you know, security or whatever. And he worked and Wes said, I'm gonna issue the game, put you on. Wes was was also the security for uh Al Heyman. 
Mm. Okay. It says, so you know where Al Hammond is. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Al Hammond was also our promoter on tour. So then it all connected now. So I know Eddie C, he gone too. That was Al Hammond right there, man, too. Eddie C died about a year or two ago. All these old cats, man, gangsters. So we know what's going on. But Wes, Wes made the call, it's on. He big, big time crib. So big OG. And he and, heard what had happened. Yeah, yeah. So he was like, I'm cool, man. All right, man. And we never had no problems with Mike ever, ever again. Never had no never again. You, you know? see him, it was always love. It was always love. Yeah. Wow. And he's still he's still doing his thing. I know it. Mike ain't got <laughs> man, I'm telling you, Mike I didn't say he messed over the money. Mike got a got a contract from Warner Brothers back in the day when he did the stuff with Hammer him, forty million. <laughs> that was unheard of back in the day. Mm. And you know, he's straight gangster from Carson, strong arm he's strong arm Teddy, strong arm Bobby, and Babyface, and the list goes on and on. He thought he was gonna do it to us. It wasn't going down. Wow, so you 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 know that these guys was having to ca- kick in. Yeah, yeah. Because rumors go and around, they, call they check talk. In. Yeah, and they still doing it to this day. Yeah. So it's still going on to this day. Major, major, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because how you heard about all of those other people, people talk, and that's how you heard about it? Yeah, yeah, well, Hammer said it. You know, oh, he told okay. him who, who all do. He said, man, yeah, dude out here extorting people, trying, you know what I'm saying, trying to take their money. He ain't getting none of my money. Wow, so Hammer pretty much told you those those names. That, that's how and, you know. And then... I heard this, I heard him when we was talking on my life to um, Jerry, not Jerry Smith, what's his name, James Smith? The, the CEO, Capital. You know what I'm saying? We had a problem the other night. <laughs> we just sold 10, 15 million albums. Uh, who, who who approached you? Okay, what's his name? Okay, not a problem. And you never had another problem again. Mm. Wow. So whoever it was must you know it came from top down. Right. You franchise. We can't have nothing happen to you. You making us too much damn money. Mm. You can go on a European tour with Dick Clark. And wow. that's what and that's for. Cause so we graduated from Al Heyman, which you know how they do, when you get so large, take away the black and we're gonna go to the other side. Right. And it, it went it went bigger, man. And I remember performing on the uh the American Music Awards, nineteen ninety. Wow. How Dick was that? Dick Clark came backstage and said, hey, guys, y'all going to be in front of 64 million tonight, doing y'all worldwide, watching y'all. And I got scared. I was like, damn, 64 million? Oh, Lord, please don't let me mess up on my parts, Lord. I sung the hell out that song. What song no, did you say? Do Not Pass It By. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me, Hammer, Tremaine Hawkins. The legendary Tremaine Hawkins. Wow. Yeah, man. And I, was that the biggest... Um, Crowd you've ever been in front of sixty four no. million? What's the biggest crowd? Well, that was that was TV wise. That was TV. Oh, that was TV difference, wise. Yeah. Biggest crowd we was in front of was like a hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. We was in uh, somewhere in Wisconsin, some a big old, big old open field. It was muddy, raining, like almost like what you call that stuff? Blue stock or yeah. Cardinella? What the new stuff they do now? Yeah, it was thousand, thousand. I just said it was a hundred thousand people out there. Wow. Amongst and amongst other artists. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.